What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. My name is Steve Fast and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Father's Day was pretty good to me. We got some new toys for the Ram project. So let's load them up in the 2019 Ram, take them down to the shop and show you guys kind of what we're going for. So also one feature about the 2019 Ram, if you have it in drive, you open your door, it gives you a warning that it's not in park. And if you let your foot off the brake as in you're getting out of the truck while it's in drive, it automatically shifts to park and puts on your park brake. So now to get it back in drive, you need to push your foot on the brake, put it back into drive, and then hit your electric park brake to release. And then you can drive again but you gotta have your door closed, otherwise it will do the exact same thing. See, now we can move. Just kind of a safety feature, so if you do forget that you are in drive, you get out of the vehicle, it's not gonna take off on you. So being that we are dealing with two totally different generations of Dodge Ram, we have the second gen over here, we have the fifth gen right here, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a comparison between how far we've come from 1995. This is an SLT Laramie, and this is the Laramie Sport. So trim level wise, they are fairly similar. If you were to buy this truck in 1995, it was actually pretty top of the line. And this one isn't exactly the top of the line. It could be the Limited or the Longhorn or something like that. But, but all in all, this is a fairly loaded up truck. So let's see the difference between a top trim level truck in 1995 and one in 2019. So the second gen Dodge. Now this truck was pretty cutting edge for its time with this kind of Mack truck look. It was really different than any other truck in 1995. Everything else was pretty much just a square box. Now as we go over here, we did shave off the badge where it did say SLT Laramie, but that's definitely what this truck is. We do have a cloth interior. I'm not sure if they had a leather option for the regular cab. I know some of the Laramies did have leather interior later on, but that leather back then was not the greatest and didn't really hold up that well. You can see that the cloth here actually is still holding together even though it is pretty beaten down with 160,000 miles. So let's take a little trip back in time. We do have air conditioning in this truck. It has an overdrive off switch. It has cruise control. It has a CD player which I put in. Originally this thing probably would have had a tape deck or something like that. It has a big stick for the four wheel drive instead of your electronic. The trailer brake controller is definitely aftermarket. It does have a driver side airbag but nothing over there on the passenger side. But I think even in the Chevys they didn't even have a driver side airbag in 95 so that's pretty state of the art for Ram. We've got a couple of cup holders that come out of the dash like this. We do have the good old ashtray, which is good for holding a remote for our stereo. We have a cigarette lighter, which is something you don't see in modern trucks anymore. The manufacturers are not promoting smoking anymore like they did back in the day. And even though we got the interior half torn apart on this truck, there is a console that goes up here with a couple of map lights. And being that this is a Laramie model, we do have power door locks and windows. You can see this one also has power mirrors. And also over here, we do have a manual slider. And this truck is equipped with a V10 engine with about 300 horsepower, and I think it had somewhere around 400 foot-pounds of torque. So not too bad for 1995 standards. And being that this is a 2500, we do have a leaf spring suspension in the rear, and we have a spring suspension up front with solid front axles front and rear. And over here we have our very stylish chrome 16-inch wheels. 
So now we fast forward 19 years to the fifth gen Ram. Now this one is a 1500, not a direct comparison to the 2500 of the 95 Ram, but we do have a 22 inch wheel, which is something was unheard of pretty well in 1995, unless you're talking about a semi truck. We do have the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with 395 horsepower, 410 foot pounds of torque. We have the blackout package, which is looking absolutely amazing on this Laramie Sport. And we have not only power mirrors, but we have power folding mirrors with blind spot detection with the signal light integrated. Also, we have the heating element. So if they are frosted up, you just hit your defrost and that clears right up. And we also have the little convex mirror for towing. Makes things a lot easier. Over here, we grab the door handle. We have the automatic unlock as long as you got the key in the pocket when that does work. We have our power deployable running boards. Our interior definitely has gotten some upgrades from 1995. We have suede, we have leather, we have perforated leather. We've got heated and cooled seats, which is absolutely awesome. And one thing I forgot to mention on the 95, it does have a leather wrapped steering wheel, but it is a little worse for wear after 160,000 miles. We do have a leather wrapped wheel on the 19 as well. And the radio has come a long, long way. We have a 12 inch screen navigation, all that kind of good stuff. We have front and rear sensors that we can turn on and off. We do have the button here for the power tailgate. So you can just open that right up and you don't have to worry about actually walking around with stuff in your hands and having to open the tailgate. Now, even though the 2019 has airbags pretty well everywhere, we still do retain that glove box kind of like we do have in the 95 as well as our lower glove box as well. We have not only cruise on our steering wheel, we're able to basically control the entire infotainment system, customize all of our gauges, dash, all that kind of stuff. You can go through and do all kinds of different options with this new system. Our headlight switch over here, we have the option to have automatic headlights, our fog lights is on there as well. This 95 actually was an option to have fog lights. This one doesn't have them. And on this one, you can actually control the brightness of your cluster and the ambient lighting as well. Another thing we did not have in 95 was an electronic park brake or power pedals. So now as for the paint on the 95 Ram, the primer back in those days didn't exactly like to hold the paint. You see the clear coats coming off here, but if this truck was brand new, it would look really, really sharp with this nice two-tone paint job. Now over here on the 19, you get this out in the sunlight, you can see all the metallics and everything coming through on this black paint, and it looks absolutely amazing. Now on the 19 Ram Laramie Sport, you do get the Rebel hood, so you have the vents on either side and then the one in the middle. But if you look at it, you can kind of see a very similar line to what the 95 has where you have kind of those two going through the middle. You look over here, we have our Ram badge and then we have the same kind of thing going on over here. So now back in 95, this was the truck to have. It was pretty awesome, especially with the Cummins diesel. I wish I did have one with the Cummins, but for the price that I got this one for, I couldn't turn down the V10. So now not to show my age, but when I was in eighth grade is when this truck came out brand new. And when I saw them rolling around, I thought they were pretty awesome. And I think you could say the same about the 2019 Ram. I know some people don't like the new look of this truck, but I think with the black package, this thing looks absolutely amazing. But there's just something about driving the 1995 that just takes you back to a totally different time, a totally different type of person would buy this truck than that would buy this truck. Now you can put anybody in this truck and it's basically like a luxury vehicle. It rides really nice, everything's nice and quiet. You have all your amenities. This truck here, it does have a few different things. It has your air conditioning, it has your power windows and locks, but the suspension is super tough in this thing. You hit a bump, you definitely feel it. This is a truck and it doesn't have any of that safety stuff as far as the sensors everywhere. You gotta know what you're doing when you're driving this truck. There's nothing that's gonna stop you from hitting something if you get too close to it or you change lanes and somebody's in your blind spot. Something's gonna happen with this thing. I mean, you really gotta be paying attention and it kind of just makes you a little more focused on what you're doing when you're driving this truck. So now back to where we started on this video where I was showing you the new stuff that we do have for this build, being that we do have a few upgrades from 1995, obviously. Some things definitely can be upgraded in 2000. 19 to make this thing a whole lot better like the led headlights like the fourth gen bumper which i think looks so much better we have better tires for this thing we're going to be getting a locker for the rear we upgraded the stereo we're going to be putting the cab lights on we're going to be doing a paint job and all that kind of stuff for this project but one of the reasons that i did go with the fourth gen bumper you can see we do have a little bit of a gap here and if we open the hood you can see we do have a fair amount of space here now that comes to what we have in the box so let's go check it out now both these boxes were fairly heavy oh we got another box inside this one so now when i ordered this piece i wasn't entirely sure if it was going to fit behind the bumper of the 95 ram but i think by looking at it 
We're gonna be close, but I think it should fit. If we have to modify it, we definitely can. And over here, we have our Smitty built 9,500 pound winch, the XRC. And this is a fairly inexpensive winch. I think this thing came to around the $300 mark, something like that. And the winch plate itself was somewhere around $60, $70. So it definitely saved me some time having to fabricate one and having to go and buy a piece of steel and cut this all out. And obviously this one's probably a little bit prettier than what I would have built. So now we're just gonna take this head over to our truck and see if we have enough clearance, just kind of roughly mock this thing up. So now, honestly, it is gonna be a bit of a tight squeeze to get it in there, but we can modify this bumper if we have to, if we have to cut out some of the bottom here or whatever we have to do. We're really not gonna know until I pull the bumper off and kind of see where everything's gonna mount to the frame, get the winch in place and just kind of see how everything fits with this bumper. But one way or another, we are getting that winch in here because that's gonna make this thing a whole lot more capable off-road. So I know this video is kind of all over the place. We're going from the 19 Ram to the 95 Ram, but we are doing this project and I just wanted everybody who would be interested in following along with this project to know about it and definitely check out those videos because it's gonna be awesome once this thing's all done. And it's just fun to do an old truck project, just something that you could actually afford to do all the kinds of crazy things that you would wanna do with a truck like this without spending like $100,000. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.